I don't know who's gonna watch this, but this video is just intended for everyone that I've ever had like a meaningful relationship with. Um like friends, all that type of stuff, really like not just um not just limited to like relationships with like partners, but like also yeah, like friendships relate like uh intimate relationships with all that, just everything, family relationships, um just all types of relationships, honestly. Um I'm just gonna say this first, but I'm I'm sorry. Um like I'm genuinely sorry for being with you this car's passing by so sorry about that as well. But I'm genuinely sorry for being not the best friend, not the best lover, not the best person, a family member, because for a while I like kind of sat in my own pride and I was just like, oh, um, I'm, I'm cool, you know, like, I wasn't seeing it from everyone else's perspective, like, if I would fall out with somebody, I would be like, it's literally them, they're the ones that are just making me upset and I'm, I'm fine, they're the problem, but, like, it takes two. Like, it literally takes two. And something just came over me yesterday. I, I, I've just been thinking about a lot of stuff. And, like, the universe has just been putting a lot of things in front of me as well. Like, just a lot of things um, that I can't, I literally cannot avoid or ignore anymore. Um, but, yeah, I genuinely want to say I'm sorry if I, because I, I did. I genuinely want to say I'm sorry for hurting anyone in any type of way or pushing people away or just not communicating really because I feel like that's my biggest issue is um I don't communicate my needs or my boundaries and stuff so of course they're going to get crossed if I'm not communicating what I don't want you to do what I do want you to do what I need from this relationship and all that type of stuff and it's a different story if I'm communicating 100% I'm you know doing my part and then you're not responding and respecting me now that's different now you're really the problem but in most cases, um, I definitely contributed as well to a lot of things that uh, definitely contributed to a lot of the negatives or the complete just like disconnect from people or situations and things. Um, now, I'm not sitting here saying I'm a terrible person or anything like that because I still do. Um, I value myself and I'm not just going to sit here and put myself down and tell myself I'm a terrible person. I'm not this. I'm not that. But I can take responsibility for just areas where I've been lacking. And uh, I can take responsibility for doing things that get in, interfere with me being able to keep friendships, relationships and all those type of things. So, again, um, if you're watching this and it kind of tickles your heart and you feel something then it's directed towards you. Um, I don't think I have to sit here and name names because, like, you know who you are to everyone ever. Um, and I actually, I really, what compelled me to say sorry and just take accountability for my actions was that, you know, uh, I was at the post office yesterday and the universe literally put someone in my life that I had been ignoring. They literally put us at the same, uh, the same spot, same time, like, so crazy. I ran into this person, uh, one of my old friends that I used to uh, talk to a lot, and I realized, like now looking back, our one of our biggest issues was just communication, um, not being vulnerable, and um, that definitely is going to lead to the demise of a, of a relationship because, you know, you have to, to have a deep connection with someone, you need to, you know, be vulnerable and communicate what you need and be transparent which I can say I, I don't do very well. Um, but yeah, I, they had told me something that really stuck out to me and it kind of made me almost want to cry, but I hadn't heard nobody be that real with me in a minute and it kind of just shook my world, if I'm being honest. Like, they told me, like, I need a team. And I was like, what you mean I need a team? And they told me, you need a team? Like, you can't do it all by yourself. And... I'm getting a little emotional right now just because for so long I I um I kind of fell into this extreme of it was either you know because I had been around people friends and all that but it wasn't the most healthy relationships with friends uh, girlfriends all this type of stuff it wasn't that healthy so I kind of just diverted to being alone and I took it kind of too extreme to where um 
I, I thought that I could do everything by myself and I really can't. Like I cannot. I've done it for a while and I think that's why I get so burnt out, tired and stuff, like you know, to be like I, I rely on myself, which is good, but for everything is just it's tiring. Like I I'm I tell myself, you gotta make breakfast, lunch, dinner. You gotta you know, you gotta make all your own money, like like never asking for help. If I need twenty bucks, I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask for it. I'm just gonna go out and and, and work for it and slave myself. Or if you know, if I need help, someone to talk to, I'll just keep it in, or I'll go. Like I would just do everything alone. And this is not to say that I don't like my alone time and my solitude, because I do. But all the time, like I don't have a, a a group. I don't have a team. I don't have a family. It is wild. And um, yeah, I've just been realizing that like. I don't have a family. I don't have a team. I'm not saying that people that love me don't exist. I'm saying, like, I have inhibited myself from bonding with family, with friends, with with people deeply, deeply, deeply to where I feel like I can rely on people. And I don't mean it in a codependent way, which is what I've been doing as well a lot in my previous relationships. Is like, oh, um, you're my friend. Okay, we're going to do everything together, and we're going to be like this. Like, nah. It's not about just having one person to rely on. It's about having like a team. Every every person in the family system, right, has a has a has a task, right? One person does this. One person does this. One per- you need help with one thing. That's the person you go to. Like everyone has a specific position, and that that's my biggest problem as well. I would just put that position on one person. You feel me? Like I cannot have one friend to do everything that I to fulfill all my needs. I cannot have just one one person, one soul to fulfill everything that I need um so yeah like I I need help I'm gonna say it straight up like I need help and I don't know exactly I don't have all the answers I just know that like I need a team I need I need backing I need a family like I have one and I'm gonna you know do my part on that but I I need to get deeper with it like deeper with it because I realized like to be successful in the way that I truly know that I'm put on this earth to be successful there's no way to get to that success besides with the family and a team like because like think about it like i have i i know i have a lot of talent a lot of creativity a lot of drive all these good characteristics you know the things that would lead me to be successful but just imagine if i pair that with my family members or you know what i'm saying with my team my family um and they also have those traits and we and we come together so now it's it's two it's two crazy brains right like i feel like Apparently my camera got too hot, so I'm finna get off here, but I just know that it would make things a lot easier, but, um, yeah, again, I'm just gonna say I'm sorry to everyone that I've hurt and not communicated with and not actually, you know, put in the work to have a healthy relationship, like, I'm genuinely sorry, and I take responsibility for all my actions, um, yeah, like, it's not just one person's fault for a fallout, it's, it takes two. Final words, I'm sorry and I do need help. Simple, like, I'm really sorry and I need help. I need a team, I need a family, so I'm down for it, let's do it. I can't do this by myself, bro. I really can't. (laughs) Later though.